out there we figured why not just give you one less to go over when you're studying late at night the ring of gaijis party <laughs> basically we have gaijis who is a lowly shepherd under the service of the king of lydia so basically what happens is there is this giant out of nowhere earthquake that opens up this big old chasm and of course, you know, like Curiosity killed the cat, you know, Gaijis wants to go ahead and take a look. Basically, in the chasm, when he goes inside, he finds a room, and he goes in the room, and in the room, he finds a dead body, and on the finger of this dead body, like, ew, he finds the ring. When he finds the ring, he doesn't really know what it does yet, so then he goes with some friends, and he's playing with the ring in his hand, like, fiddling with it, and when he puts it on his hand, he disappears, and his friends start acting like he's not there and he's like um what the crap so then he takes the ring off and they're like whoa you were invisible he comes up with this great plan to kill the king so then he seduces the queen and he convinces the queen to help him kill the king her husband Gaijis kills the king takes his spot on the throne and then marries the queen Voila, revenge complete. He got everything he wanted with this ring of invisibility. Basically what the story goes to say is that you can take a just man and an unjust man and you give them both a ring of gaijis and they will both proceed to do unjust acts. The only thing that keeps people from doing evil deeds to say is the fear of consequences and getting caught and getting in trouble. Honestly, it's a simple concept, it's a simple story, it's a man and a ring and a man that gets killed. What would you do with the ring of Gaijis, man? What would you do with the ring of Gaijis? Stop laughing. This is serious. 